but underwater. So here's the tip when you're playing this game. When it says that the game is about to crash, do not save your game in your CMOS and then exit the game. Because when you come back, the CMOS will not be a physical entity and trying to fix it will make your CMOS disappear. So I have no more CMOS anymore. It's just gone. And I like loaded the game up and it's not here anymore. Fuck's sake. This is the magma vent. I'm gonna try and get this quartz. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, what can I drop? What can I drop? I can't really drop anything. I have a lot of quartz already. 30 seconds of oxygen. I can make it in my base. You're inside. Actually, I have loads of time. What am, what am I talking about? Why am I freaking out? <laughs> Why is my CMOS here? No. Thanks. Fucking fantastic. So glad that that disappeared. Hey, all the things I had here are gone. I had like stuff placed that I was getting ready to put up. I was putting a window here. Ding! That decreases your strength, which I assumed it would. But I, I want to like put windows on the on the outside just so I can like look around. Okay, I look out in the mushroom kingdom out here. Is it? Can I crouch? No, but that's cool. Uh, I need to add some more reinforcement stuff. So. How much glass do I have? I can add one more window. That's a lie. I can add two more windows. Never mind. Our whole strength is going way down. But, oh, this is cool. This actually feels like a proper little base. I don't know why I have, like, all this section. There's nothing here. There's no need for any of it. I want to put another hatch there. Oh, I like this. Uh, I need to put up some more reinforcements, though. Just to make it strong, because the whole thing just doesn't collapse. Because we are at a depth of 168 meters. It's pretty damn deep. There we go. We have reinforcements on the inside of the base. So, like, it's all inside. So, like, even if there were windows there, you couldn't really see anything. You'd just be looking in on top of the base. And all the windows are on the outside. I might extend the base out this way. Or maybe put, like, another window there. This is cool. I don't really get why you'd... Like, a base is cool because you can put the fabricator inside it. But I don't really get why you'd need one apart from that. Unless you can dock, like, your submarine and your sea moth and that around. This hatch is here. Maybe I can build on top. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to leave this video here. Next episode, we're going to continue on building our base. I might try and build some more stuff that's in the game. I keep comparing it to Stranded Deep, which I probably shouldn't, and I'm sorry if that gets annoying. But it's the closest comparison I have to it, because they're both like Stranded in the Ocean kind of games. And they do go for very different things. Stranded Deep is supposed to be a more realistic away kind of thing where you're supposed to feel isolated and this is very far removed from that where you can build a big submarine on your own just in the, in the middle of nowhere but like in Stranded Deep one of the reasons I never build bases in them is because there's no point the whole map or the whole world is completely infinitely randomized and there's no point of building a base in one place and then moving off to somewhere else because you, you just leave your base then and you spend such a long time creating that base that you can't like really find it unless you really know where it is um, but this, you can like set up a beacon, you can go back to it. There's a reason to have a base here on the edge of like the mountain or the mushroom place. And you can go off and get more materials and you can build stuff. You, know, you can use your base as like another, like Henry away from Henry kind of thing. It's very, very useful to have another base. And it looks cool and it feels cool to build it. And it's not as cumbersome or time consuming. So, I, I don't know, I, I think this game is doing a lot of things really, really right. And I can't wait to see what they're doing with it in the future. I really hope the update is soon. So there's a lot more content to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss. And bye bye all round. Well, thank you guys. And I will see you all.